What's up, Deep Thinkers? It's Robert from Existence First. And uh, I just did a little spiritual self-defense class here at the office. And one thing came up that gave me an idea for a video. Okay, uh, One of the people that showed up here had uh, some stories about uh, their parenting. Right, the, When they were growing up, that their parents were very critical of them. Okay, And even to this day, when that person has a phone call with the parents, um, it leaves that person feeling very negative for several days after. Okay. So here's, here's a technique, actually I'll give two techniques, I think, for handling criticism from others, okay? Let's say you're talking to your parent and they say something like, you know what, you, um, you're too um, timid or you're too, uh, you're too reckless or something, I, I don't know, something like that, okay? Um, obviously, if it's something about your physical uh, uh, appearance, then it might even be more like hurtful, but um, let's say that they that they make a comment about you. Okay, now one way to interpret that is that you you think that they are describing you. Okay, that would be the pitfall, and they're not describing you. They are describing. Uh, let's do this. Brilliant um, stick figure image. Uh, this is your parent. They have in their mind an image of you and now they're going to say you're so in, you're such and such a way right that they're going to describe you but they're not describing you because you're here this is you when they say you're blah 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 they're describing their mental image of you they're not describing you okay so by by thinking of it this way conceptualizing it this way you're able to draw a little fence right a barrier that protects you from the statements that other people make and this is spiritual self-defense see now you're defending yourself against the uh, poor communication from other people so they're gonna say you're such in such a way the same way as if they're in a house and the walls are red and they're like the walls are red and you say uh-huh yeah that's nice mom or dad thank you uh-huh right um, Thankfully, I've had very supportive parents, um, but I've heard a lot of uh, people going through situations like this. So, you know, they'll say, yeah, my walls are red, blah, blah, blah. And you just look at the environment that they are looking out at, and you realize that they're talking about their their little world, right? And you're like, uh-huh, yep, that's very nice, yes, okay. But that should not affect you. All right, that's one, that's one way to treat this, okay? The second technique is you, you see what can be utilized from that. Okay, let's say that they they say, "Oh, you're so you're so um, you're too reckless" or something. Okay, something nobody would ever describe me as, right? Um, then what you need to do there, if you really are committed to self improvement, which this is a self help channel, right? Existence first, is you would you would say to yourself, "Okay, is there any is there any truth in this? Am I reckless?" Right? They're making a statement. You have to assume that they're trying to describe the state of the world, the state of reality. So in the state of reality, are you reckless? I don't like how would you know if you're too reckless or not, right? Um, and then if there's any truth, here's here's the golden question is, is there anything actionable on this, right? Is there anything actionable? So then that's hap that's going on, right? Is there anything actionable? If there's something actionable, then you can move on it, right? Like if you are too reckless and it's like, oh yeah, maybe I should not go drag racing anymore or something that is very reckless. Then the action is you stop drag racing. Like if it's not actionable, there's almost like very little value to it because people can have all their opinions as much as they want about, oh, you're, you're too much this, you're, you're too much that. What are the actual consequences in reality? Is it causing problems in your life? And if it is, then what's the next best action to take to stop those problems from occurring? Okay, so those are two different ways to uh, to diffuse criticism coming towards you. Okay, I'm getting some messages on my phone, so I got to go. Think deeply and put your existence first.